Namaste everyone, my name is Srikant Rangul and in this video we will be solving this particular problem. It appeared in one of the exams and uh, as you can see uh, it's a problem on transformation. Okay, uh, we have been given two points which are the endpoints of a line. The first point being A, these are the coordinates 2 comma 2. And the second point B has coordinates 4 comma 6. And we are supposed to rotate it by 60 degrees about another point that is 2 comma 1. And we have to find the final coordinates of this point. So the solution to this will happen in three stages. Step 1, uh, we have to move move 2 comma 1 to origin. Okay. So we have to move 2 comma 1 to origin and find out what happens to the coordinates of any other points. Fine. So for this what we have to actually do is uh, subtract, subtract, we have to subtract uh, 2 comma 1 from all points, from all points. So this is what we will have to do in the first step. And uh, step 2, once we have moved this point about which we have to rotate to the origin, the next thing is to actually rotate it. Fine. So rotate, rotate, rotate the points by 60 degrees. Now because he has not given whether it is clockwise or anticlockwise, we'll just go ahead and assume that it is anticlockwise and uh, for anticlockwise we have to assume positive angle and yeah so for rotation of course we'll have to multiply rotation matrix, multiply rotation matrix. So rotation usually this is a two-dimensional so it is rotation about z-axis by an angle 60 degrees. So this is the matrix we have to multiply. Step 3 is going to be to move it back, fine, move origin, move the origin back to, back to 2 comma 1. So here what we have to do is, uh, we have to do the reverse of what we have done over here, fine. So we will have to add 2 comma 1 to all points, to all points. Okay, so let us see how we are supposed to do that. So first A and B, both these points, uh, we'll have to write them as column matrices. The coordinates of A being 2 comma 2 and the coordinates of B being 4 comma 6. So this is how we'll have to write them in the column format, fine, the matrix format. Now the first step as I told, we'll have to subtract, we'll have to subtract 2 comma 1 from all the points. So 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 1. So since there are two points, we'll have to add two columns here and this is how the matrix notation will be for the first step. Fine. So this is how the step 1 will appear when we write it in matrix format. Okay. So just move it closer to this here. Okay. So uh, by solving this, what do we get? Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1. Over here, 4 minus 2 becomes 2 and 6 minus become 1 becomes 5. So these are the coordinates when this point 2 comma 1 when it is moved to origin the points A and B they will move to these particular points. Next step, so step number 2, as I told we will have to rotate this point. So now for rotation we will have to apply the rotation matrix. Fine. So what is the rotation matrix? It is cos theta, cos theta here, uh, sin theta, sin theta over here and minus is going to be present there. Fine. So now in this matrix, uh, we will have to take theta value, as I told, we will have to take it as 60 degrees, positive 60 degrees, which means it is rotating in clockwise direction, that's what we are assuming. And if it is specifically mentioned, if, the, if it is clockwise, if the rotation is clockwise, we will have to take the angle as negative and accordingly the matrix will actually change. So let's find what is the matrix. So cos 60, cos 60 is going to give us 0.5. So 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is going to appear here. Let's take calculator and uh, see what happens to sine 60. So 60 sine of that gives us 0.866. Okay, so 0.866 will appear here and 0.866 here as well, but here it's going to be in negative. Fine. So this is the rotation matrix. This is our rotation matrix. So this rotation matrix we will have to multiply with the final points that we got here, that we got over here and let's just, just, just copy and paste it over there. 
Fine. So now we know how the matrix multiplication actually occurs. Fine. So we'll have to go forward like this. This row has to be multiplied with this column and uh, now the, they have to be added up together. So let me do this in the calculator directly. So fine. So what I have to do, 0 0.5, I have to multiply with 0 and uh, plus here, actually this is minus, so let me just go with minus, uh, 0.866 into 1. Right. So this is what gives us the first value here. So this is minus 0 0.866. Okay, minus 0 0.866. So we got the first value. Next, we will have to take the same row, multiply it with the second column. We will have to take the same row, multiply it with the second column. So this column is what we have to multiply. So once again, let's go here. So we will have to take 0.5 here. 0.5 multiply with this one here. So number 2. Number 2 here. And then uh, again, it's minus, minus 0.866. Multiply that with this value over here, that's 5. The result is 3.33, uh, minus 3.33. So th this result we'll have to write over here, minus 3.33. Okay. So next let's go ahead to the second row over here. So we'll start with this one, 0.866. We'll have to multiply this with 0. And uh, because there is no negative sign over here, we can just go with positive plus 0.5 times the this value is 1. Fine. So this is the value we got, 0 0.5 will appear here. Finally, again, we'll have to take the second row here and multiply with the second column and add them. So 0 0.866 multiply with 2 plus 0.5 multiply with 5. So the result is 4.232. So 4.23, the last one, uh, if you want you can write or you can just ignore it. So these are the coordinates. So these are the coordinates after rotation. So at the end of step 2, after rotating this, uh, these points, translated points uh, about origin by 60 degrees, we will get this. Now our point, our point of reference that is 2 comma 1, it is still at origin still at origin. So as I have written here, in step number 3, we will have to move the origin back to its previous point. So we will have to take these points that we got here. Just copy it. Okay, so the same points I have taken here. And uh, from uh, to this, we will have to add, we will have to add the same matrix that we used over here. So this way what happens is the origin will move back to where it was initially. Right. So let's do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 2 minus 0.866 that is 1.1134.134 over here. Then uh, 2 minus 3.33 that's 1.33 over there negative of course and the previous one that's that's not that's positive yeah then uh, we'll have to add these two point we get 1.5 over here and this one becomes 5.232 so these are our final points so this becomes our answer this is our answer so hope you have understood this question properly if you have any doubts regarding this you can let me know in the comments section below so this problem is on two-dimensional uh, transformation. Uh, so we have just got two into two matrices all the places at all the places. Uh, if, however, you know, the problem is extended to three dimensions, then uh, we will get three by three kind of matrices, three by three kind of matrices. And of course, if the homogeneous method is specifically mentioned in the question, you'll have to go with homogeneous method. And uh, okay. Uh, homogeneous method of course adds one extra row and column to whatever method we are using in 2D it's going to be 3 by 3 okay so here it is 2 by 2 in general but but if you are going for homogeneous homogeneous this is general method this is general method normal method you can say but in homogeneous uh, this is going to be 3 by 3 matrix and three dimensional matrix are going to be 4 by 4 so of course I will make another video in which I will explain in detail 
I think I uh, have covered this in one of my classes. Uh, so you can go back to the playlist containing all the lessons, all the recorded lessons of CAD CAM and in one of these videos definitely you are going to find uh, what happens in this and uh, how we are supposed to do these calculations. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any other question which you think is more difficult to solve, you can just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely try to make a video on that. Goodbye.